Welcome to Catharsis! I'm Step He, She, They, Them. Let's go. What are we talking about today? Reclaiming intersex sexuality. Take it back. Being an intersex person in particular has led me through experiences that have had other people telling me that my body or my sexuality weren't for me. For me, that was complicated because when I was 16, I found out that I couldn't have traditional P and B sex without surgery. Now I have all these barriers to my sexuality that I didn't ask for. And so I have to ask my dad to pay for it. I have to ask this male older surgeon to do it. And then I have to go through that process and recover and do all of this. And is it even for me? No. Like. Probably not. My first doctor when I was 15 years old told me, we're going to do this so you can have sex with your future husband. Whoa, that's heavy. That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's little comments like that that shape our worldview. Yeah. It can take a lot of deconstructing. For me, like having had mostly cis male partners, there's been a lot of issues there to work through. Between consent issues and cis male partners just famously not being the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sort of being inherently the worst. <laughs> I could laugh about that all day. <laughs> 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 Cut out that four hour laughing segment we just had and get back to the scheduled programming. So I had a new partner recently in the past couple months and they brought up the question of getting tested. And for me, that is like alarm bells ringing, like holy shit, am I gonna have to go into a medical context to mm. do that? And I was so conflicted and I was beating myself up because that's like the thing that any half decent person does and is supposed to be excited to do. But with that history and that intersection of trauma and medicine being a barrier for my own sexuality, like that was a huge hurdle to get through. Just sort of getting through it and being supported was huge. Intersex people get told that it's important that your body is a viable whole for other people. <laughs> I am now a viable whole. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo when you say it like that, <laughs> how have you been reclaiming that in your life? Having better sex and asking for better sex. Just trying to be more selfish. And how has doing that changed your interaction with your gender? I'm happy. <laughs> Reclaiming sexuality and choosing partners that are better with understanding that trauma and that history and better with consent and better with working to help you understand that your body and your sexuality are actually for you because sometimes that's a secret. Spoiler alert, your sexuality's for you. If you've watched our videos, hopefully that's gotten through to you. If not, here's the spoiler. It's for you! For you! Do you know what time it is? I think it's time to smash the patriarchy. What we have here is a real live representation of the patriarchy, the patriarchy, and we're going to crush it. Tell us who this is. This is my future husband. Your future husband. <laughs> we also recently made a Patreon page. Just a dollar a month goes a long way for helping us make these videos happen and get it in front of the people who need it. Thank you for co your contribution, and I will see you next time.